thinking about coming to Agile 2012? Wondering what you'll learn? Well, we thought the speakers should tell you themselves. So sit back and enjoy, and we'll see you in August. Last year, leading Agilists got together in Snowbird and drafted a prime directive. In that directive, they stated that Agile leaders must demand technical excellence. Hi, my name is Declan Whelan, and together with Alistair McKinnell, we will be hosting a session on simple design, and we'll be drilling down into the two key aspects that we see, and number one being maximizing code clarity, and number two, minimizing code duplication. You'll come away from this session knowing how to apply simple design to your own code. Hope to see you there. Hi, I'm James Grenning. I hope to see you this year at Agile 2012 for Boss Vodi and my tutorial on Monday afternoon. Our tutorial is test-driven development in C, possibly embedded. That kind of depends on you. It's a hands-on session, so bring a laptop. If you don't have a laptop, we're going to give away free laptops. Well, no, we're not going to really give away free laptops, but there'll be somebody there you can pair with. So please look at the session's entry in the program to find out what you need to do to set up your computer. We're going to have some fun. Hi, I'm Laura Dean. And I'm Moss Collum. In our workshop, Better Codes, Littler Classes, uh, we're going to teach a few refactoring techniques for splitting up classes when they get too big. And we're going to give you some advice for recognizing what too big means. So bring your laptops and come ready to work on some code. Hi, I'm Uncle Bob, and I'm going to be speaking at the Agile Conference this year on three different topics. One of them is going to be clean code. We're going to look at some code, find out what makes it clean, what makes it dirty, stuff like that. I'm also going to be talking about professionalism and why it needs to be demanded in our industry. And I'm also going to be talking about craftsmanship, the elements of craftsmanship, what makes a craftsman, and so on. These talks are going to be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I hope to see you there. And remember, the only way to go fast is to go well. Hi, my name is John Galloway. In my session, we're going to be looking at HTML and CSS, not just as byproducts or a stupid artifact that we have to deal with, but actually beautiful code. What happens when we look at HTML and CSS as not just something we have to deal with, but a fundamental part of our application, of our code, and then start looking at ways we can improve the quality. And once we do, what happens? Does our code get better? Do our applications get better? Join me. I think we'll have a lot of fun. Hi, I'm David Bernstein, and my session is called Writing High Quality Code. It's about quantifying code qualities that make software more maintainable and extendable. Join me to discover how to increase your velocity tomorrow by increasing your code quality today. Hi, I'm Corey Haynes. I'll be hosting the all-day hands-on coding workshop this year at Agile 2012. We'll be splitting the day into two half-day sessions filled with fun, intriguing, and perhaps even a bit mysterious activities around practicing the fundamentals of what we do and love, writing code. You'll be introduced to a lot of different techniques and practices during the conference, so come and spend some time with your fellow conference goers in putting them to use. I've got some awesome individual and group activities planned, so you are sure to find something that really stretches your skills. We're splitting the day into two half-day sessions, but if I were you, I'd plan on being there the whole day. Because what's better than spending a day coding with other passionate practitioners? So come join me and get your coding on at Agile 2020. Hi, this is Arla Belshi. I'm going to be coming to Big Agile this year to play with fluid code in the real world. Y'all are welcome to join me. We're going to be doing some TDD, some emergent design, playing with legacy code, doing refactoring. All of this will be done with a few simple samples and a bunch of code from nasty, ugly projects. It's going to be hands-on. Uh, there will be a minion. Sometimes you'll control him, sometimes I control him, but at any time, he will be controlled. I'm Angela Harms. XP tells us that pair programming gives us more focus, more energy, maybe even more joy, and definitely better code faster. So why don't more people do it? I think it's because often pair programming sucks. We're going to talk about how to make pair programming not suck. So I hope you'll be there. 
Hi, I'm Lynn Langett. I'm going to be speaking on Approval Tests at Agile 2012. Approval Tests is an open source library that facilitates unit testing. I'm going to be presenting a bunch of code demos around Approval Tests in C Sharp. The library, though, works with other languages such as Java, PHP, and more as well. Joining me will be Woody Zool. I hope that you can join us in our session. Hello, my name is Alex Aiken. My session is called Deliver Practice, Becoming a Better Programmer. During this session, you will learn exactly what deliberate practice is and how it's related to software development. There will be an exercise where everyone gets to experience deliberate practice together. During that exercise, we will be writing code, it will be a lot of fun, and you won't need a laptop to participate. Hi, I'm Bill Hamlin, and my talk is called Easily Mocking Dependencies in C++. There's an often repeated myth that C++ is not well suited to doing TDD, but this is untrue. With a simple, single technique that I call test-based class injection based on C++ templates, you can easily mock up any kind of dependencies in C++. This includes automatic variables, parameters, return types, static data and methods, C APIs, and it even works on legacy code and in kernel mode. If you're doing TDD in C++, you owe it to yourself to come to my talk. Hello, I'm still Moss Collum. And I'm Zach Shaw. In our workshop, three pair programming games, uh, you'll have the chance to do some pair programming and practice some techniques for improving your pair programming skills. And you get to work with a bunch of strange people in a bunch of strange environments. And don't forget to bring your laptop. Hi, I'm Diana Larson. Surprise, I'm going to lead a session on the development practices and software craftsmanship stage this year. Not a thing you have every year, but the session I'm leading is called How Am I Doing? A Personal Retrospective on Developing One's Craft. It'll be on Thursday. Um, it'll be the very last session of this particular stage, and it'll be an opportunity for you to experience a retrospective with me, and we'll have a lot of fun. You'll be looking at what what have you learned during the week? What what has really what really do you want to take away with you and what do you think your next learning challenges are going to be on your path to really developing the level and mastery of software craftsmanship that you want to achieve